time for Better Biking. Peter and Tracy are here now. We are talking about your third cross-country trip. Tell us where you're going and why you chose the route. This year we're going Route 66, so we're going to start in Green Bay, bicycle down to Chicago, and then head across country to Santa Monica, California. All the way across the country. All the way across why the country. Why this one? Why this route? <laughs> well, we'd already done a lot of the other parts of the country, so we've been in the northern U.S., the Mississippi River right. Valley, so we figured we hadn't been southwest, and there's a whole bunch of different culture, a whole bunch mm -hmm. of different environments, natural features. Yeah. Seem kind of obvious. I mean, beautiful scenery along the way. Tell us some of those landmarks that you're going to hit. It was very historic. You know, mm -hmm. it was the first highway that they had in the United States, so there's a lot of unique things out there. Um, some examples are, you know, just going to Chicago and mm -hmm. experiencing the city. St. Louis, the Arch in St. Louis and going through the Ozark Mar Mountains is another big place to go. Well, when we get to the Panhandle of Texas, mm -hmm. somebody took a whole bunch of Cadillacs and buried them in the ground. Oh, right, right, first. right. It's like, yeah. I don't know why, but I need to go see that. <laughs> um, some amazing natural features, too. There's the uh, Petrified Forest mm -hmm. National uh, mm -hmm. Park, so we'll see that. Uh, the largest uh, meteorite impact crater is oh, there. Goodness. The Mojave Desert. Seriously, you're hitting everything that everybody wants to see on any vacation. Exactly. Know, That's what you want to do. Yes. All right, so I know the obstacles that you guys faced before. What are some of the challenges this time around? I think for me, probably the thing that's going to be the newest is really the temperature and the heat. Sure. It's yeah. going to be southwestern United oh goodness, States. Yes. We literally just bought a collapsible water bottle, mm -hmm. so we have the ability to double our water supply. Okay. Now, you know, we're not going to literally be out in the middle of the desert, but mm -hmm. there are some places where the towns are pretty small, so sure. we really need to be prepared for that. Mm -hmm. um, so this nice weather Cameron's been uh, supplying <laughs> us with is helping us acclimatize a little yes, bit. Yes, exactly. This is not something that people do all the time. 3,000 and miles. You know, why do you guys continue to do something like this? <laughs> well, you know, we've been doing this for a really long time, mm -hmm. and we started out really slow. We were talking to our daughter tonight. She said, where should I go for a bike ride? I'm a little afraid to go by myself. And I said, go pick some place where you're comfortable mm -hmm. and just do a little loop. Well, in our case, our loop just kept getting <laughs> bigger, bigger and bigger and bigger. So that's really what it is. Mm -hmm. It's see new environments. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you wouldn't be afraid to go drive your car no. in Arizona. Right. And so the skill set that we and have. And it's something that you guys do so often. It's yes. what you guys exactly. do every single day. So, exactly. so this is normal. See yes. new people, have new experiences. We always say that on a bicycle, you don't have to look for adventure. Adventure Comes finds you. Yes, <laughs> I bet everybody stops you and says, what are you yeah, doing? Exactly. That's yes. the perfect, perfect yes. way to do it. All right, yep. guys, good luck on your trip. We're going to be Thank checking you. in with you guys every so often to make sure you're right on schedule. Sounds nice. good. All right, for more information about the Flukies journey and better biking in